Okay, there's the front of the spacecraft. We have a lot of stowage here in the in the Ga'a. Now Yuri's been busy unloading the progress. We just finished an EVA, so things here in the functional cargo block are very functional right now and very cargo-y. So you can see things are just really, really full here in the FGB. And again, you'll have to pardon us while we while we uh, while we get our things together as we rebuild the space station from the inside. Expedition 18, that's our job, is to get ready for a six-person crew. You can see there's a lot of uh, containers. These metal containers hold water or urine. And uh, that's what, uh, uh, right now, a lot of these are waiting for a ride back in the progress. As we leave the FGB here, and go into the docking compartment. Docking compartment is another one of those vertical looks. And it's a kind of a misnomer. It's not just docking compartment, but it's also a airlock. So Yuri and I went out in our, these two spacesuits a few weeks ago and went into open space and had a spacewalk. Continuing on down through here, We'll stop here on the way back. Is our Progress cargo vehicle? The Progress is a cargo ship, unmanned, uncrewed, nobody driving, and has the same kind of docking compartment. It's very much based on the Soyuz design, except it doesn't have any re entry capability. So you can see it's all empty now. Yuri had emptied it out, and now we're going to get ready to, uh, to fill it up with a lot of the things that are in the FGB. Uh, you can see there's a lot of metal frames. We have to put those back together. Some assembly required. On the hatch, you can see these hatch clamps, the yellow ones. They uh, they help keep the progress attached to the International Space Station. And we're going to take a look outside. And this is the hatch that I opened up and went outside for a spacewalk and we're looking aft on the space station. There's a ladder, some solar panels. We're looking at the service module, Zarya, or excuse me, uh, Zvezda. And looking at our also our beautiful planet Earth. Let's see if we get a nice little view here of Earth. A little small treat. There's no tour of the space station would be complete without it. Yeah, we're still over ocean right now, and uh, I imagine we'll be getting over land fairly soon. If I can, I'll try to show it to you. So that's the control panel for uh, the for the airlock. A couple hatches here, some ducting through the hatches. And last but not least, in the service module, says that, which means star, it's the heart of the space station. It's uh, where we used to have uh, the only, only place where we could create oxygen and, and live with uh, the carbon dioxide removal system, as well as a uh, place to eat and sleep. There's my crewmate, Yuri Lonchikov exercising on the treadmill with vibration isolation system, the TVIS. Yours, Hi. There's Yura. And also you could uh, see the, uh, the sun wasn't glaring so much, you could actually see the uh, starboard side of the space station. And you can only see that there's one set of uh, huge American solar arrays. So carefully backing out, so not to bump into Yuri. You see the very aft end of the space station. Now again, there's a lot of uh, things in there because we're getting ready to load up the progress. 
Here's our number one bathroom. Turning on the lights. It looks the same as the other one with the same toilet. And the same uh, funnel hose. We have uh, different kinds of toilet paper here. Wet wipes, dry wipes. Control panel right there, and that's our that's our those are our toilet facilities. I'm going to show you our eating facilities pretty quickly, and that that'll wrap up the tour. This is the International Space Station. A very good example, a cluttered example at the moment, but a very good example of what uh, human beings can do when we work when we work closely together. So. This is our eating area. There's our table. And we're just getting ready for lunch. There's our water dispenser right there, Russian style. And, and our controller for the water dispenser. There's Yuri's room off to the side. You can see he has a sleeping bag right there hanging on the wall. And a computer right here so he can call on the telephone, and write email, and read books. So and relax in the evenings a little bit because uh, we have long days up here. So as we uh, want to, as we say goodbye, I, I do want to show a few more things real quick. Take a look out the windows, and we can actually see the outside of the progress uh, cargo ship that we were just inside a few minutes ago. And let's see what else can we see. Oops, we can see land. A little bit hazy there I believe that's uh, the edge of in India and uh, Burma or Myanmar let's see if I can zoom in for you it's a little bit hazy there especially this time of year but you can see that we're, there's clouds out there we're looking through the window here and we're just the edge of there we go just so see the edge of the land at the coastline of uh, Burma So we have all kinds of windows, all kinds of interesting things to see and do. And you can see our map, world, or it's not world map, that's Sigma, that shows us where we are. So again, excuse our mess, we're in the middle of uh, getting the space station ready for six people to come aboard. And uh, it's uh, a lot of building, a lot of, uh, a lot of things that are in transition as you, as you know. Also, this is a surprise visit that you guys are paying on us today. So things aren't cleaned up, but they're real. This is exactly how we, we work and live in space. And I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if there are any questions, well, send them through Capcom and we'll see if we can answer them. So this is Mike Fink saying goodbye and thanks.